Good morning, Libra. This reading is for Libra for December 1st through the 15th. And my readings are running late, so I do apologize. Um, yeah, life happens. So, Libra, again, I apologize. Let's see what messages we have for Libra. Sun, moon, and rising. And remember, if these readings resonate with you, please like and subscribe, hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. Messages for Libra, December 1st through the 15th. Okay, you have earth magic. So I feel like you are, you're working through your obstacles, Libra. I feel like whatever challenges you've been going through, I feel like you're putting your little touch, you're putting your magic um, in order to resolve those issues. And you have Grand Symphony. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, you also have Feeling the World. So, yeah, I feel like, Libra, I feel like your emotions may be running a little high right now. Um, Let's take a look at some angel cards to get some more messages for you. What messages do you have for Libra, please? What messages do you have for Libra? Okay, we have Archangel Uriel. Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and your mind. Yeah, so you may need healing at the moment. Let's get one more. One more card for Libra. One more angel oracle. Okay. Archangel Gabriel, you have an important life purpose involving communication and the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. Okay. Yeah, so you have Archangel Uriel and Gabriel watching your back at the moment, Libra. So you have angel protection. Yeah, I feel like you have angel protection in your situation. Okay, let's get some moonology. See what's going on with Libra for December 1st through the 15th. Okay. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon and Taurus. Yeah, something you're trying to manifest, I believe. Something that you're trying to bring down to earth. I believe you need a plan to do so. And what do you need to release the waning moon? So what do you need to release, Libra? At the bottom you have work through your fears. Yeah, you may need to release your fears. Any fear and anxiety. Um, new moon and Scorpio. So, yeah, that may be what it's referring to, that you need to release things that are really weighing down on you, things that are bogging your energy. That may be the reason why things that you're manifesting may not be coming through as quickly as you desire, because I believe your, your energy is involved now by fear and disappointment. 
Okay. Oh, well, we have the sun that's coming out. Okay. That's a good card. So I feel like in December, you have more happiness coming through. You have the Four of Pentacles. And you have the Death card in reverse. Okay, now the Death card in reverse, I feel like you're... Libra, I feel like you're hoping for happiness. I feel like you're trying to protect yourself. You're trying to hold on to something very tightly. But I feel like you're not giving in to whatever change or transformations that you should be going through at the moment. I feel like you are, you're, that is being blocked for some reason. Maybe it's you blocking that energy or it's someone else who's putting your mind in doubts that's blocking that energy. Okay, you have the magician. The five of pentacles. Yeah, that's, that's what I was feeling for you. Um, the five of pentacles energy. I feel like you're you're feeling left out of something. You're feeling like you're very disappointed. Disappointed. Um, you have the ten of swords. You have the justice card. So you're stepping out in a big way, Libra. You have the king of pentacles. And you have the Page of Cups. Okay. So Libra, you've got the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this may be the King of Cups energy um, that's blocking... That's blocking you from manifesting this. This Sun energy. Because you have the Sun energy. Um... You also have the Magician, which are very good cards. And you have the Justice as well. So you have two major Arcana on the top. So I feel like good things are within reach for you. I feel like the things that you've done in the past are coming into um, your creation. You're creating something uh, from this karma that... From the things that you've done in the past. Because I'm, I I feel like you've done a lot of good, Libra. But I feel like you have also have a lot of disappointment. Because you have the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. And the Death card in reverse. So I feel like... I feel like... Something is done and over with. You're obviously at the end of something. Something is definitely over. And it has you very disappointed. If you feel like you're left alone. Like you don't have anybody to support you. Like you're left out in the cold. You're looking for help but there's none to be, none to be seen. That's how I'm feeling for you, Libra. But that's all an illusion. That's all an illusion. That's just your overthinking. I feel like you're overthinking a lot. Because it's blocking whatever it is you're trying to create. Yeah, you may want to meditate. Meditate more. Um, pray Whatever it is that you believe in, Libra. Um, but take time to yourself so that you can introspect. And I believe the solutions will come to you then. Um, like I said, I believe this King of Cups is 
probably the one holding you back. Yeah, definitely, because you have the devil as well, the devil in reverse. So, yeah, he's definitely holding you back from what you're trying to create. And you also have the hermit in reverse. So this person really doesn't want to give you any solitude. They don't want to leave you alone. They don't want you to make up your own mind about a situation so that you can find a better perspective. They're kind of bogging you down. They're, they're being very, I don't know, it's like they're isolating you. But I feel like you need to move away from this energy. Whatever this energy is, I feel you need to move away from it. Okay, Libra, in this last row, we have the Justice card. We have the King of Pentacles, and we have the Page of Cups. So with this King of Pentacles, whatever you're going through here, I feel like it's done and over with. But I feel like you're very disappointed in the situation. You do feel like everything's coming to an end. And like you really don't have any way out. I feel like you're you're really isolating yourself or someone is isolating you. Um, but you now during the month of December, you will receive some kind of communication. Um, likely from this King of Pentacles. So it could be an earth sign that's trying to communicate with you. But someone else is coming in. Someone else is coming in. Um, to try to help you resolve this situation. Let's get a little bit of clarity, Libra. Let's get a little bit of clarity. With the sun and the magician, I really feel like you need to focus on the positive. Try to stay positive in your situation. Even if you're surrounded by a negative person, try to ground yourself and remain positive. Yeah, yeah, this definitely could be someone from the past. Or it could be someone that you're married to. It's definitely someone that you're in a relationship with. Um that's holding you back from your sun energy. What is this four of pentacles? Please clarify the four of pentacles for me. We have the ace of swords. Yeah, so whatever you're protecting, um, whatever it is you're trying to hold on to, there's going to be a new beginning here. You're going to get a lot more clarity on the situation. Um, and I feel like whatever truths are going to come out of the situation, I feel like it's, it's going to be, it's going to cut like a knife. It's going to, or this person, their words are sharp towards you. What is this death in reverse? Tell me more about this. What is this death in reverse? What's holding Libra back from this change? The Knight of Cups. Yeah, there's someone holding you back. It, and it, it looks like it's most likely a love interest. But this person is, maybe they're coming in with very swift talking. But I, I feel like what they're saying sounds good, but I feel like their actions just don't match what they say, Libra. I feel like their actions are totally opposite of what they, they're trying to tell you. Yeah, with the Magician, you have the Six of Swords. Yeah, so I feel like whatever you're creating, whatever you're trying to create, whatever lifestyle or situation you're trying to bring to life i feel like you may need to move you may need to literally move to actually gain this situation 
What is this Five of Pentacles, Libra? The Four of Pentacles again. So, yeah. I feel like not only are you regressing into this situation, I feel like you're steady going back to this person or this situation or this kind of situation. Even if it's not person, even if it's not one person, I feel like you're finding yourself in this same situation over and over. It's like a regression, um, like you're going from disappointment to really protecting yourself. Um, And I feel like you're really looking for something that's going to give you more security. I feel like you don't feel secure in your situation. What's going on with Libra? What is this Ten of Swords? The Chariot. Libra, I feel like you know that this situation isn't good for you. You know that you're not in a healthy situation. Um, but I feel like you have reservations on moving. And you need to move forward in the situation. The Six of Swords, that's moving on taking no baggage with you, moving into a calmer situation, moving to calmer waters. She's trying to get over the, to that island to start a new life. And as she's moving through there, the waters are starting to calm. They're not as wavy as she moves along. And the chariot energy, the chariot is moving along, but it's moving along being pulled by these sphinxes, these sphinx. Um, but there's no, there's no lines to the sphinx. She's just trusting in the universe that she's moving in the right direction. And the universe is leading her into the right direction because she's following her intuition. She's using her gut to um, make her decisions. Her intuition is leading her. So, yeah, I, I think in this situation, I really feel like, I feel like, Libra, that you need to do some very deep soul searching to gain some perspective on your situation. Yeah, with the Justice card, you have the Three of Swords. So I definitely feel like you feel like nothing good is going on right now. You are really caught in this cycle of constantly feeling overwhelmed, overburdened, heartbroken. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles, please. Okay, we got two cards to come out. Yeah, well, this King of Pentacles, you have the Hermit in reverse, and you have the Page of Pentacles. So, yeah, I feel like this person is steady trying to communicate with you. They're not trying to ease up on communicating. They're trying to tell you exactly what they want you to hear. So that you'll do whatever it is they want you to do. They're trying to keep you isolated. They're trying to keep you from understanding your truth. Very interesting. Okay, what is this Page of Cups? We have the Queen of Swords. Okay. 
with this Queen of Swords energy, I really feel like you're really looking for healing and you know that you're self-sufficient. I, I don't feel like you're being totally honest with yourself in this situation, Libra. I feel like you are putting in all the effort and not getting anything back. You also have the Seven of Pentacles on the bottom. So I definitely feel like you are looking at the situation, wondering if it's worth all of your effort, if it's worth what you're going through to keep going through this. Um, I feel like you're waiting. But I feel I also feel like your patience is wearing very thin. I feel like your patience is kind of at the bottom. Yeah, you have the Eight of Swords in reverse. So yeah, I, I don't feel like this is your energy. I feel like this is the person that you're dealing with. They're holding you back. Maybe they're weakening your confidence so you don't think that you have any other options. Because I see her, she's standing in that puddle. That puddle represents your emotions. So I feel like she's kind of drowning in her feelings. So this is a very toxic relationship, Libra. This is very toxic. We have the three of wands. Yeah, so I really feel like you need to make some plans. I think some plans need to be made in order to um, resolve the situation. Uh, I can see that you'll likely be traveling. Um, maybe you'll be moving physically to another location. Maybe you live with this person. But I've, I feel like they're really holding you down. They're holding you back. Now, what you don't see is that you do have strength. Now, the strength, it gives you unconditional love. It gives you the courage to move forward in the right direction. And that's what the universe wants you to know, that you have strength behind you. You have everything that you need in order to be self-sufficient. You just need to tap into your own uh, courageous self in order to uh, get the outcome that you desire. Yeah, you have the Two of Cups in reverse. So I really feel like this is, yeah, th this is love that's not really very healthy. Okay, Libra, let's get a message from the universe. Let's see what the universe has to say about this situation. Messages from the universe, please. For Libra, December 1st through the 15th. Attack, pain, fear, judgment, and any form of separation are merely cause of help. Yeah, basically. And I feel like... I feel like this person is really scared that you're going to leave them. And I feel like they're, they're attacking you with their words. They're doing something to try to devour your confidence. Okay, 
Okay. Instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good for all. Yeah. Okay, I understand what this, this means. <clears throat> Libra, um, I feel like what this means is instead of praying for an outcome of the situation, uh, I feel like what this is saying is that pray that you get healing as well as they receive the healing that they need as well. Because obviously... The way they're coming at you, the disappointment, the the heartbreak, the isolation, they're they need healing very badly as well. One more. My happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. Yeah, so the universe is letting you know that, you know, they have you, your back. And in the beginning, see, we do have Archangel Uriel and Gabriel. So you have protection. Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release your anger and unforgiveness from your heart and your mind. And Gabriel, you have an important life purpose involving communication in the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. You have angel help. So yeah, I feel like they're letting you know I will help you. Um, but I, I feel like you need to move in the direction of your right path. I feel like you're being led off your path by this person. That's what's covering. That's what's covering your son. Your happiness is being covered by this person. Your happiness is being shadowed by this person. Any manifestations or magic that may come into your life, they're moving you away from because they don't want you to have that for some reason. Maybe they're very jealous and envious of what you can have with maybe someone else or by yourself. They want to tag along. But I feel like the universe is letting you know you have the sun and the magician. Anything is possible. You have all of the tools that you need in order to be successful, in order to find your happiness. Um, but you need to move in that direction. Okay, Libra. If this reading resonates you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Um, make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on this situation. There may be more messages that will find you some kind of uh, clarification uh, on this situation. And Libra, many blessings to you. Love and light.